Okay, right. It's Andrew Collins here. Uh, I've been meaning to do this little video for a few days now um, because there's great debate at the moment about who made the beautiful artifacts in the Denisova cave, whether it was the Denisovans or whether it was our own ancestors, Homo sapiens or so-called anatomical modern humans. So who made this beautiful so-called Denisovan bracelet that you can see here, which is made of a substance called chloritolite, uh, which is a mineral that mostly composed of a chemical called chloride. Uh, and this bracelet is beautifully designed, beautifully executed and polished, and it has a hole penetrated through it, seemingly to hold a cord which would have on which would have hung something else, you know, maybe a disc or something. Uh, and I mean, this is just a beautiful art object. It's about 45,000 years ago. So it comes from the Denisov Cave, uh, which is in the Altai Mountains of Siberia. And I mean, what it was, they say it was found in 2008. I think it was actually found earlier. But I mean, the, the thing is that this and a number of other items would suggest that the, the Denisovans whose fossil remains, including a you know, bones, piece of a skull, um, huge teeth, which were found in exactly the same level, that they were responsible for the creation of these artifacts um, in this cave here, right? So what it looks like. Um, but, I mean, you know, there is so much more going on there. I mean, found in the same layer, this beautiful, uh, polished bone um, uh, needle used for making tailored clothing, same sort of age, 45 to 50,000 years old. Um, I mean, you know, this is the oldest needle in the world. So who created that? Then you've got this, this uh, mammoth uh, ivory object, which is a cave lion with a series of markings on it, which uh, add up to 72 strokes in groups of four, 18 groups of four, which makes, you know, four times 18 equals 72. And 18 and 72 are both numbers that are important to the cycles of the sun and the moon and, and as well uh, as eclipse cycles, eclipse cycles. You know, so who made this? Uh, I mean, people have said, well, how do you know that it's, it's a, a cave line, which is what it's considered to be? Uh, and the answer is, it, it does look like that the main body of, of a lion and with, without the head. Um, and I mean, you know, th this is an extraordinary artifact in itself. So is this, these, these ostrich shell beads. These are, you know, works of art. They've also been found at a site called Tolbar in central Mongolia, where the stone te tool technologies there are very similar to the Denisova cave and of a similar age, probably about 30 to 40,000 years old. An archaeologist a couple of years ago did suggest that it was at places like Tolbar in central uh, Mongolia, where our own ancestors would first have encountered the Denisovans, you know, and learned their skills, you know, and adopted the le their legacies, basically. So, you know, the idea is that we did gain these technologies from the Denisovans. Then you have things like this, this piece of, of ochre. Now, ochre is a very iron rich, rich mineral, and it's used to draw, basically. I mean, whether that be face paint on the body, uh, or whether it be cave art um, or some other form of decoration, but it's a pencil. That's, this is a very ancient pencil. I mean, not necessarily the oldest one in the world, uh, but it certainly shows the sophistication coming from the same people, the same level of, um, of, of, of activity in the cave. And then you've got this so-called 
tiara, um, which, as it says here, it says treasures of the Nisva cave, the bone needle, blah, blah. Um, and the, the, the mammoth bone tiara. And it said here somewhere, I don't know, I'll see if I can find where it is, that this tiara was made for a person with a very large head. They suggest male, but of course, you know, that's only because they think that males in archaic humans would have been larger than females. And that's not necessarily the case as far as the Nisivans, because we just haven't got enough anatomical evidence so far to prove one way or another. And what else is there? I mean, by the way, they call this a tiara. They suggest that it's, you know, possibly just to hold back hair, but it's probably a part of a shaman's headdress and would have been used in rituals and ceremonies, very much like, very similar, um, you know, uh, frames of headdresses used by the shamans of Siberia, even to this day. So what else have we got here? Well, obviously, the, you know, this is the, 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 um, the excavations that are still going on there now. And the reason why all this has come up now is that they found a certain amount of DNA in the same layer as these beautiful artifacts that have been ascribed up till now to the Denisovans. And this DNA is human DNA, and it suggests to the Western paleo uh, anthropologists, uh, that's it, right, and paleo anthropologists, that modern humans were now responsible for these items. And the reason why they think this is because they just can't handle the idea that the Denisovans were that sophisticated. They, they just can't get their head around it. And this is despite the fact that we now know that the Neanderthals were a hell of a lot more advanced than what they were given credit for just 20 years ago. You know, I mean, for instance, we know that they created some of the earliest cave art, some of the earliest stone structures inside caves uh, in Southwest Europe. Um, we know that they used glue. We know that they buried their dead. We know that they had uh, knowledge of flowers and medicinal properties of plants seemingly um, and you know very sophisticated stone tool technologies and the Denisovans themselves obviously were displaying similar technologies but they of course occupied the eastern half of the Eurasian continent whereas the Neanderthals occupied the western half of it so the Western paleoanthropologists, they now believe that modern humans were responsible. They point out that we know that modern humans were, you know, not far away from here. Um, certainly in Western Siberia uh, by about 45,000 years ago. So if these items date to 50 to 50, to, sorry, 45 to 50,000 years ago, then there's no reason why they also can't be made by modern humans. But it should be pointed out that, that no bones of modern humans have been found inside the Denisova cave, none, not one. You have bones of Denisovans, you have bones of Neanderthals, you have bones of hybrids between Denisovans and Neanderthals, but no modern humans at all. So, you know, I think, this assumption on the behalf of the Western anthropologists is, is probably not right. The Russian archaeologists working at the site, people like uh, Antoli Derevienko and Michael Shunkov, they are convinced that these are Denisovan artifacts. And of course, the Westerners think, oh, this is just some kind of nationalistic, you know, view that they want to make out that these people who were found in Russia were, were more advanced than what they actually were. But I think that that is a, a naive statement. And I, I think what we've got to come down to is that there is this paradigm that has to be broken. And that is the fact that modern humans, homo sapiens, are superior to the other homo species that were around in the past. This I don't think was true. I think that we 
as a species learn so much from these archaic humans, you know, and they ultimately were our great ancestors. I mean, there are stories in Siberia, for instance, Mongolia, about the first ancestors being of extreme size and, you know, and, and inventing so many different things like musical instruments, the first bridges, the first irrigation, the first stone houses, uh, and, you know, and, and, and other things like that. And this to me is possibly the memory of the presence of the Denisovans in this region. And elsewhere, where Denisovan bones have been found in the Tibet Plateau, and now in northern China, you know, if we class the, the Dragon Man skull as, as being Denisovan, you have similar stories of these, you know, giant individuals uh, that were eventually classed as demons and ogres and things like that, essentially ruling the place before modern humans came along. And I think this is something that you're going to find everywhere where the Denisovans were, that you'll find these stories, these legends of giants and ogres and demons who were present before us and that gave us the rudiments of technology and civilization. And we need to get our head around this because this is in many ways the true answer to the concept of the lost civilization and its origins. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. And obviously if you like this sort of stuff, please like the video uh, and also subscribe to me and I'll try and put some stuff out like this on a more regular basis. So thank you very much.